Hello, welcome back to the VRC, and as promised, this video is about mobile gaming. More specifically, this, the GameSir G8 Galileo Plus. Now, what is it? It is a controller or gamepad or joypad which is specifically designed for housing a phone. Now, you might think, what, a phone? What are you on about? But a phone, these days, actually, they're quite powerful. Take the Quest 2 and the Quest 3, they've actually got modified phone chipsets. So, you can actually play some quite good games. Not only that, you can use things like Xbox Game Pass or Moonlight to stream games directly from your computer or from the cloud. And these are proper current gen console quality games. So, why do I like this so much? Because I do actually really, really like it. Well, with my own money, I bought this. This is the GameSir Galileo G8, and I found this was a fantastic piece of kit. And basically the way it works, it doesn't need any batteries or anything like that. You've got a USB-C there, or you can get a Lightning for iPhones, and the phone slot perfectly in. And for something like this old Samsung Galaxy, it goes in really well, even with a case. It might struggle a bit if you had a pop socket. My phone isn't the Samsung Galaxy. My phone is actually the OnePlus open which is a foldable phone and as you can see the screen is quite large so you might think to yourself if I've got a phone it's a bit like a tablet wouldn't it be great to use it on a really good controller like this and that's why I got that and it performed really really well but it had a few issues the issue is because it uses USB-C, it had to be lined up a certain way. The USB-C port on the OnePlus Open is there, so to slot it in, it has to go in like that. However, my case and the big stupid camera get in the way, so the only way it can work is by taking off the case like that, and then slotting it in two hours later like that. And because it has got that little area there for the camera, it does work, but I didn't like having to take my case off all the time, and I didn't really like having it go down. I wanted it going up like that. This is where the GameSir G8 Galileo Plus comes in. The great thing about this one is it's Bluetooth. It doesn't need the USB-C connection. Now, some of you might be listening and thinking, oh, actually, I prefer the other one and you have a good point because the other one is direct connection it just plugs in and it works straight away it's really really good like that it is fantastic it's been a really high quality controller and the buttons and the sticks they all felt absolutely brilliant as good as any other controller I've tried ever basically, and it's for a phone, so it's really impressive. After having that one, because I got a bit annoyed of how it had to fit in, I had to keep taking my case off, I actually picked up this one from Majestech. This works in a similar way to the new Galileo G8 Plus in that it's Bluetooth and it extends, but when you play with this one, it's very noticeably not good quality compared to that. That one is absolutely top quality. This is not, however, it is cheap. So I'll give it that. So the great thing about this now is that I can now have my phone exactly how I want it in there. Uh, obviously the screen can turn around. So I've currently inside, I've got the case camera bit sticking out of the top and on the inside, it's actually the front screen. It also means you can tilt it up like that if you ever wanted to, but uh, I don't usually. So now I've solved the problem. I'm able to play really good high quality games on my phone using a really high quality controller. The sticks feel really, really good. They're Hall Effect sticks. The buttons also feel really good. There is one drawback, which I'll get to in a bit, but I'm not gonna talk about that just yet. So as a controller for my phone, I'm really, really happy. This was sent, by the way, by GameSir. The other one I bought myself, they sent this one, so thank you for that. However, this is totally unbiased review. If you've seen any of my other reviews on eBike channel or on this channel, I always tell you what's wrong with it, what I don't like. But there is a lot to like about this controller. When I'm playing it with my phone, it feels absolutely great. Apart from one little thing, which I'll tell you in a bit. The triggers at the back have got decent play, unlike that Majestech, which are digital buttons. So you can't play racing games with acceleration or uh, graduated brake. You can actually replace the thumb grips on the controllers to get smaller ones or larger ones. First negative, as with the other games uh, G8 controller, they only give you one of each spare type. So if you wanted a small one there 
and there, you wouldn't be able to do that because they only give you one. Or if you wanted a medium one there and there, they wouldn't be able to do that. So you get two of these, but only one of the others, weirdly. So I'm not sure what the point of that is. It's really weird. This bit here, it's really easy to take off. It's a magnet. I'm struggling at the moment because I can't find the line, but here we go. There we go. That just comes off like that. And also, if you get some little tweezers, you can swap the buttons over. So B could be there, A could be there, Y could be there, X would be there. Why would you want to do that? Unlike this, the GameSir G8 Galileo, this was marketed as a controller for your phone. It can be used on a PC. By plugging a physical cable into that connector there, you could plug that into your USB of a PC. You could actually use it. It's a bit clunky, but you could use it. This though, this can actually be used for pretty much everything. This is just a Bluetooth controller that happens to have a perfect form factor for a mobile phone. So it works on a switch. And if you're using it on the switch, because they have B, A and X, Y backwards, you can swap out the buttons and it'll just work perfectly as a switch controller. It works obviously on Android and it works on iPhone. It also works on PC and it also works on Steam Deck. And I've used this on all of those things when we're playing games such as uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shadows Revenge or Vampire Survivors where you need a lot of different players. I've ended up using this. This is now my PC controller because my son stole my other one. I've got a Lunar controller that's for the front room. I've got other ones dotted around, an old Steam controller. So yeah, because on my PC, I actually usually use a mouse and keyboard to play those kind of games. When I do want to play a bit of Street Fighter 6 or something like that, I have now started to go for this one because it's got lots of different Bluetooth settings. So unlike one controller where you might connect it to one device and then it doesn't want to connect automatically to another or the two devices start fighting for control of the controller, this can actually be connected to different ones. So when you turn it on, press circle and Y, it goes red and that is the switch setting. Circle and B goes blue and weirdly though, to connect it to a PC, it's a bit harder. Like you go blue, but then you've got to hold that down and then it goes, starts going like a light blue. So when it connects to a PC or my Steam Deck, it goes light blue. And then finally circle and A goes yellow. And I believe that's the Android setting, but it's got so many different connections. So if I'm there, sorry, my cat's going mad. So if I'm using it with my Steam Deck, I'll use one button. If I'm using it with my phone, I'll use another. If I did want to use it with a switch, I'd use another. It's that versatile. It is so impressive and it feels so blooming good and solid. And I love the customization. It's just a really, really good idea. And really well executed. It is probably one of the best controllers I've ever had the pleasure of using. Now, the drawbacks. So one was the weird, that why don't they give you two of the same type of thumb pad? The other one is that when I'm touching those four buttons there, I do kind of feel that it doesn't get in the way, but I can feel that it's there which I don't really want to feel it's there. My favorite controller in terms of ergonomics is actually the Xbox Series S controller. And as you see, when you're using it, your thumb doesn't really get anywhere near that. Whereas because the thumbstick here is below the buttons, you can kind of feel it. And I don't know why, but I, I'm not a massive fan of being able to feel it. I quickly get used to it, so it doesn't really get in the way of my play or anything like that, and it still feels great, but it is there, and some people might get annoyed by that placement. And of course, you can get other phones in there and it feels quite secure. I mean, you're not gonna do lots of crazy shaking around, but in normal play, it's gonna keep it in there really well. And one more negative I did forget about, hence why this is a voiceover, is that with the GameSir G8 Galileo, when the phone is plugged in, it's actually got a USB connector at the bottom where you can plug in USB power and it will charge the phone. Now, when using the G8 Galileo Plus, I could still charge my OnePlus Open because the USB connector sticks out at the top. But if you are using a normal form factor phone, such as a Samsung Galaxy, you won't be able to reach it because the controller grip will be in the way. So we here at the VRC have been extremely impressed by this, the GameSir G8 Galileo Plus. It is 
brilliant. You can get it on Amazon or you can get it through their own website and it's around £67 or something like that. It is a bit expensive but considering all the things it can do and the quality of it all and the presentation in the box, this I think is definitely worth it. So if you're in the market for a new controller and you want it to be able to do pretty much everything, I know it's a bit weird using a controller on a PC or console with that there, but it's still a great controller. So yeah, links in the description below. If you use them, there'll be affiliate links. It will help the channel. I have now gone part-time with my day job. So I've got two extra days. You may or may not know, I've got another channel that is all about e-bikes and I haven't really had time to do anything on this channel. This is still very much a VR channel plus a little smattering of mobile gaming like stuff like this and the Steam Deck and the ROG Ally and things like that. So thank you very much for listening. And if you made it to the end of this helped, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't really like the video at all, don't know why you're still here, but thumbs me down. And until next time, play safe.